Welcome to Power System Analysis using ETAP. In this lecture, we are going to discuss basic short circuit calculation. So, when we talk about a short circuit or a balanced short circuit, in case of balanced short circuit, all the three quantities behave same. So, when we are talking about balanced short circuit, it means that all the three phases are going to be shorted out at the same time. It means that the voltage the current and the impedance of all the three phases is going to be impacted at the same time. It means that the normal calculation for the single line diagram or the single line uh, method of calculation can still be implemented here. So how do we implement a short circuit calculation for a three phase panel sort uh, system? It is simple. Uh, consider this example here. Consider a generator connected to a step up transformer then to a transmission line then there is the load transformer and then the load everything in this system has been converted into its respective r and x value so when we calculate short circuit what do we simply do we simply calculate the thevenian impedance behind the short circuit so in this case what is going to happen we have three impedances in series this generator impedance the transformer step up transformer impedance and the transmission line impedance so simply we are going to add them up and get the thevenian equivalent impedance in the form of rth plus xth because r is going to be added with r value x is going to be added with x value so once we do this what we simply have to do we simply uh, need to know what was the pre fault source voltage and uh, using the ohmic formula v is equal to ir or v is equal to iz we can calculate i as i is equal to v by z so simply by converting this into an equivalent form and calculating the current flowing through this simple circuit will give us the short circuit current through this circuit so this is how we calculate short circuit current now to further explain this concept let us take a hand calculation a hand example a simple example here this is an ETAP uh, circuit which we will be creating in our next demonstration video. Here you see we have a power grid. We, this is the same circuit which we have uh, used for the load flow analysis as well for understanding the basics of load flow analysis. So we have a basic power grid which has a MVA short circuit capacity of 5715 MVA and has an impedances of 0.116 and 1.74%. And we have a transformer, a 20 MVA transformer uh, with an impedance of 9% at 20 MVA connected to a load of 15 MVA. So now if we want to calculate the short circuit, what we have to do at uh, this 69 uh, kV bus. So what we have to do, we have to calculate the, the total impedance of the power grid as well as the total impedance of the transformer. So we are going to add them up and then calculate by simply using V is equal to IR or I is equal to V by R, we are going to calculate the current at this point. So in order to do this, because we have a transformer involved, so the easiest way to do such a calculation is to use per unit calculation. So here, these values are already in per unit at 100 MVA base. So my Z grid will be equal to R grid plus j x grid which is on per unit at 100 mva base so the what we simply have to do because these values are in percentage we are going to divide the values both values by 100 in order to convert them into per unit so 0.116 divided by 100 will become 0 0.001116 uh, uh, and here j will be equal to 0 0.0174 so 0 0.0174 now we know that r is equal to r square plus x square under the root so by simply using this formula z grid will be equal to 0 0.00116 square plus 0 0.0174 square under the root and with this uh, formula we are going to get z grid is equal to 0 0.017495 per unit at 100 mva base now for the transformer we already know that transformer has 9% impedance Z value is 9% at 20 MVA base or 9 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.09 so 0 0.09 per unit at 20 MVA base now we can convert this 20 MVA impedance in, 
टू हंड्रेड एम बी एम पीडेंस बाय यूजिंग द सिंपल फॉर्मूला जेड पर यूनिट न्यू इज इक्वल टू जेड पर यूनिट ओल्ड इन टू एस स्पेस न्यू डिवाइड बाय एस स्पेस ओल्ड सो हेयर जेड पर यूनिट न्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन इन टू एस स्पेस न्यू विच इज हंड्रेड एस स्पेस ओल्ड विच इज ट्वेंटी सो simply uh, using the calculation we get z xfmr z, or z transformer is equal to 0.4499 or simply uh, around 0.5 per unit at 100 mva base now what will be the total impedance total impedance here will become the impedance of z grid plus impedance of z transformer so z total is equal to z grid plus z transformer or adding up the both values we are going to end up with z total is equal to 0.4 6794 per unit at 100 mva base now to calculate balanced short circuit calculation what we have to do v is equal to iz or i short circuit will be equal to v by z in per unit so here i short circuit will be equal to 1 we are assuming the voltages here to be 1 per unit so 69 kv is equal to 1 per unit divided by 0.467 so this we are going to end up with 2.13 per unit now in order to convert this value back into its actual value we need to calculate i base uh, so what will be i base equal to i base is equal to s base divided by under root 3 into v base so here s base is equal to 100 mva v base is equal to 69 kv and simply calculating this we are going to end up with i base is equal to 0.836 so now actual short circuit current will be equal to i base into i per unit because i per unit is equal to i actual divided by i base so after multiplying this uh, per unit value with i base value we get actual current of 1.789 kilo ampere or almost equal to 179 1.79 kilo ampere 